Oh, sorry, hold on. Let me make sure I'm recording this. Uh, yeah, so Landon, just uh, uh, match up against LSU this week. It's you know your your former school, but you're also going up against two NFL tackles. Uh, what's what's just the level of excitement for the for the challenge you've got going on this week? Uh, I'm excited at all. It's uh, really preparing. Watch studying a lot of film. You know they're both really talented players. I've played against them past. Uh, Two previous years, this is my third time playing against them because they've both been starting since they were freshmen, uh, both really talented tackles. And, uh, I mean, it's exciting playing against my old school, but, I mean, it's been so long ago. I'm a hog now, so uh, kind of got to treat it all as the same same uh, mentality. You know, you came back to Arkansas this year, uh, obviously, to, to get better, to raise your draft stock. But you told us, too, you were disappointed with how last year went. I mean, just – how big was Saturday night or two Saturdays ago against Tennessee for you personally to, to have that moment kind of validating your decision to come back? Yeah, it was really exciting. You know, uh, really getting the opportunity to win uh, top big games in the SEC is a, a big reason why I came back. And I I've, I mean, I really enjoyed it, you know, but uh, as coach says, you got to flush it right after and uh, prepare for the next week. And can you speak a little bit on, on your development? I know when we talked before the season, you wanted to, I think, get, get better with your hands, a little better burst off the line. How have you uh, improved this year so far? Yeah, I feel like it's it's going really well. You know, the, uh, I mean, f just from watching the games and watching the film, I feel like I've improved quite a bit. Uh, got to continue to grow in certain areas and uh, really just got to continue to push and grow and those pr the production will come. And Jaden, you know, you guys against Tennessee had a lot of looks where it was you, Larry, and TJ, three safeties on the field. What was that like, you know, having a, an extra guy back there? And, uh, you know, what have you seen from Larry and his development so far where he's he made a big impact in that win against Tennessee? Well, you know, it was real fun. You know, the more people from the DB group that's on the field, it's going to always be a, a show, you know. And uh, I just feel like he came in with the right mindset. Um, you know, things wasn't going his way early on. Uh, he just stayed at it, kept going, and his time his time came, and he showed what he could do. Thanks, guys. Ray, go ahead. Yeah, Landon, um, LSU defense does a good job of getting to the quarterback. With the other side of the ball, they've only allowed two sacks this year. What are your thoughts on what they have going on up front? And is it a lot of quick game stuff, or are they just that good on the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a mixture of both, you know. Uh, they have three guys who have been starting for, I mean, Garrett Dellinger, their uh, left guard. He was my roommate when I was at LSU. And, I mean, he's, he started some games his freshman year, and he's been starting. So this is his fourth year starting now, and those tackles have both been starting since their freshman year. So it's their third year. And, uh, I mean, they're really sound together. You know, they've played, they've played a lot of ball together. And, uh, I mean, really talented players. And then I feel like the receivers and quarterback also help them as well. You know, offense, I mean – a good offense makes a, an offense line even better, you know? And, I mean, they're really talented, but Garrett knows when to move around in the pocket, when to get the ball out. They do a lot of quick game. They got a really talented offense, so we really just got to get after them uh, and, sh I mean, play play ball the, the way we know we can. Jaden, um, LSU is second in the SEC in passing yards, uh, 18 touchdowns um, on the year. Your thoughts on Nussmeyer as a quarterback and – what his strengths and, and weaknesses might be. Um, you know, he got guys around him. Um, he's a great guy. Uh, been there a while. Um, so he's pretty good on what he um like the system. I say, um, he knows what he wants. Reading the defense, know where he's going, and so yeah. Um, we got a we got a real good challenge, and we're ready for it. And Landon, with uh with an older quarterback, you guys have faced some younger guys. Um, a couple of redshirt freshmen, I guess, each of the last three games. Uh, with an older guy, does that just kind of change your approach to maybe, I don't know, some coaches say you pressure a, a young guy and, and sit back and on an older guy? I don't know. Uh, I feel like, I mean, yeah, there's there's a little bit of truth in that. But a uh, biggest thing with going against an older, mature guy who has played a lot of ball and even if they haven't played a lot of ball, no, just knows a lot of ball, you know, you got to – you can't – you can't, I guess, expect them to make mistakes. You know, you got to you got to be – uh, you got to play a really sound defense. You know, we can't uh, we can't have a whole lot of bust. We can't uh, really mess up a whole lot or else they'll take advantage of that. So uh, we really just got to play good football. And uh, I think we, we've we had two really good days of practice so far. And I feel like uh, if we finish this week off right, we'll have a really good game. Thanks, guys. Tom, go ahead. Yeah, so, Jaden, uh, 
Sam Pittman told us Monday that coming back to earth was an important thing after that huge win. How would you say you guys have handled the last week and in, in a couple of days? Um, you know, I feel like we've handled it good as a team. Um, you know, after the game was over, we came in, watched the film, and flushed it. So we on to the new opponent, and we just still stacking days and preparing for the uh, next opponent. Yeah, Landon, how would you say you guys have handled the, the huge win and, and the aftermath? I think we handled it great, and I think the biggest reason we've handled it, we handled it so well is because we all know knew we could do that. You know, it's not like we went out there uh, thinking we were going to lose and then we magically won. We knew we could win. So at the end of the game, yeah, it's exciting, but we weren't like amazed or blown away that we won. So we came in here like after any other win, watched the film, studied it, um, looked at our mistakes, looked at our looked at the positives, and then flushed it like Jaden said. Okay. Um, the last couple of years, they beat y'all by three. It's been a very, very tight series. Jaden, I looked it up. You had six tackles in the game down there in 21. Last time y'all beat them. Uh, what what does it take to beat a, a team like this that's usually, you know, high up there? Oh, uh, You know, just playing together, playing as a, uh, as a group, um, you know, just doing what our coach asked us to do and then just being being smart and playing physical. Landon, what do you think uh, is the key to winning a, a tight game against LSU? Oh, I got to play a full game. You know, I feel like we got to we got to uh, play well in all four quarters, and then we got to start fast, got to finish fast, and I feel like the rest will take care of itself. Uh, and real quick, Jay, uh, Landon, what do you think about the the LSU run game? What do you make of it? Oh, I think they have a, a really talented young quarterback in Durham. Uh, uh, not quarterback, running back. A real talented running back in Durham, and. Uh, I feel like they haven't ran the ball as much as I guess most SEC teams, but at the same time, when you you got you got a really talented O line and really talented receivers, so uh, I mean I, I think that's a lot of the reason why they haven't ran it as much. But I feel like they do have a really talented running back. Okay, my last question for both y'all. Um, I, 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 on research I've done, I haven't seen where Arkansas has won back to back games against the top ten team. So this could be possibly a first for you guys. What, what would it mean, Jaden, for you for you guys to Pull off two in a row at home at night, top ten teams. Um, you know, to do something that um that hasn't been done in a very long time, uh, is just something that uh we just gotta take advantage of. And I'm very excited for the team, uh, you know, the staff, the the community, the fan base. Um, it's something that uh we could do and make history with. And uh, I'm just ready and excited to do that with my team. Uh, yeah, Landon, your thoughts there? Yeah, really same as what JJ just said. Uh. I mean, it's it's really exciting to get this opportunity. Uh, you, we you play ball in the SEC, so you play uh, against the best teams week in week out. Uh, I mean, there's this is the only conference where every week you're getting opportunities to play top ten, top five teams, and uh, I feel like that that I mean, it's it's a blessing, and I'm really excited for it, and I can't wait to go out there and play. Thanks, guys. And he'll close this one out. Yeah, I've just got one for both of you. Um, Jaden, we talk about a lot of times when you don't know who the quarterback you're playing, you know, the availability of the quarterback, but they have a couple of receivers that might may or may not play. I guess how does that affect maybe the DB's preparation? Uh, not at all. Uh, we're going to prepare like they have every receiver that they got planned, and um, we're just going to take it from there. And then Landon, I guess you didn't have a sack the first four games and have had a, at least recorded at least half a stack the past two games. I mean, I guess – Having played as much football, was there less panic than maybe there was, you know, early in the career when you weren't, if you had a few games where you weren't putting up the personal stats? Uh, no, nah, the biggest thing is me just uh, putting my team and uh, giving my team the opportunity to win games. And I feel like throughout the season, I've, I've played really, really good ball, rather that be getting pressure, getting back there. And uh, uh, my biggest thing is just do what I do what I need to do and the production will eventually come. So uh, I feel like these past two games are just kind of, Proof of that, and uh, my goal is to continue to just give my, my team the opportunity to win football games the rest of the season.